It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Aldi. It's part of the, the Hop Foundry Founders Edition and it's a 440 milliliter can of their Stout About It. It's a vanilla stout coming in at 5.2% ABV. There's a look at the can. Uh, without further ado then, let's get this can out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on my can op on the can opening. I think I just heard my perfect draft in the background there, making a little noise. Um, still is. <laughs> right, beer in the glass. It's saying, "What about me?" I'm quite optimistic about this. Um, what I've found is that regional brewers, because of course this is contract brewed by a regional brewer, um, one thing regional brewers can do okay is brew stouts. They can normally brew a stout okay, a regional brewer. Um, stout about it, vanilla stout, 5.2% um, ABV, two finger tan coloured head, good levels of Carbonation. It's a jet black beer in the glass. It actually looks very, very nice. Very, very nice looking beer. Uh, the beer was one pound fifty nine. So yeah, just one pound sixty really. One pound fifty nine. Not bad at all for a four hundred and forty milliliter can. Five point two percent ABV. Let's hope the beer stands up as you rock the beer back and forth. It looks, it looks like a decent drop of beer. Slow moving carbonation. Jet black, no real light bleeding through whatsoever. Let's get the aroma then. I'm hoping for a little bit of vanilla. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, it's got a, it's got a nice, um, rich, velvety. Like Hershey's chocolate, but with a touch of vanilla. American chocolate, Hershey's chocolate. Oh, it smells good. It smells good. Cocoa. Like a real cocoa aroma. Mmm. Lovely, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That's more like it. That is more like it. a little bit thin but you could equally say it's a little bit refreshing you could turn it on its head and say it's a little bit refreshing it's got but at the same time as being a little bit thin it's got a nice rich creamy mouthfeel there's that kind of synthetic Hershey's chocolate in there it's almost like a, a, a cheap hot chocolate um, taste with some vanilla A little bit roasty and toasty from the roasted malt. It's got an underlying feel of maybe an abbot ale or maybe a, an old speckled hen. Do you know that kind of ruby rich malt you get from an abbot ale or an old speckled hen? It's got that underlying taste going on in there. But there's enough roasted malt in there to be able to to cover that, to cover that off, but you're definitely getting a little bit of kind of Abertail, Abertail Reserve or Old Speckled Hen type flavour going on. I'm not for one minute saying um, Green King brewed this beer. 
Um, it could be, it could be, you know, you could equally say it's a little bit like Marston's pedigree, where you get that kind of deep, rich, malty flavour from the beer. It's got really nice lacing, nice lacing on the glass. This is the only beer from that range. If you're buying the range, the new range of Aldi beers that have just launched, this is the only beer that I've enjoyed. Um, if you want to watch the other reviews, please tune in to the Grapefruit Pale Ale or the Double IPA. Uh, what was the other one? Or oh, the Strawberry Lager. If you want to tune into them videos, please do so. Um, but this is by far by far, very, very easily the best beer out of the range. It actually, it's drinking like a, a £1.59 stout in that you're hoping for a cheeky bargain. You're hoping to go into Aldi and pick up a cheap bargain and, and, and something that's pretty decent and you've got that with this beer you feel like you're having a bit of a bargain if on the other hand on the other hand if you're used to drinking three pound four pound cans of stout then this is not for you. This this is not for you. It's you, you're getting what you pay for type of thing with this beer. That one pound fifty nine price point. I'm able to look over some of the beer's inferiorities compared to you know big massive stouts that you can pay three four five pound for but you're not you're not paying three four five pounds you're paying one pound fifty nine and i think it's very important that you take that into consideration when you're you're drinking the beer you're able to accept that this vanilla this thin synthetic Hershey's chocolate flavour. It's got a pretty decent mouthfeel. It's a little bit thin. Stroke refreshing. If you want to be the eternal optimist. It's a damn sight better than the rest. The, the double IPA and the, 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 the grapefruit pale ale and the, the strawberry lager. It's a damn sight. If you're standing in on, on the shelf, maybe I know a couple of people have texted me recently saying... They stand in a supermarket watching my reviews before they pick up a beer. If you're doing that right now with this beer, take the others out of your shopping basket, your trolley, put them back on the shelf and just clear the shelf of this of this stout. You will not be disappointed for the price point. Um, that's it then. There's not really much to read out on the back of the can. 5.2% ABV, 440 milliliter. Let's rate it. Stout about it. If there's one thing a regional brewer can do is produce a stout. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Most of the regional breweries produce a really good stout. It must be secret. <laughs> a secret with, with, with regional breweries that, you know, they must have a pact. When you brew a stout, brew a decent one. Um, I like that beer for the price point. I like it enough for a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!